So Lamar Jackson, I mean, again, I really personally don't follow this stuff, but I see yep. in Port Clinton, Ohio, 3,000 people, right? There's kids, there's little kids running around, oh. white kids, black kids, Mexican kids, doesn't matter who, what, eight years yeah. old. There's 60 year old dudes wearing jerseys because this dude is, I mean, you told me the other day he, uh, he won the, um, League MVP. League MVP. So immediately people yep. start getting on the bandwagon a little bit. He's an exciting yep. guy to watch. I mean, you watch him for five seconds, he looks like a, you know, a, like a video game. Yeah, so for sure. What was he like, you know? Yeah. I mean, being around yeah. him, he's... It was it was definitely, um, it was an awesome experience being around that, like, uh, talented and gifted of an athlete. You know, just, just what he could do on the football field was... Uh, was just crazy, you know, his athletic ability to make guys miss, and you know, and guys that are like, you know, the fastest in the world and the best what they do, make them look like average. And like he did that week in and week out, and it was, uh, it was crazy, you know. I mean, he, you know, all the touchdowns that he threw, you know, and I, you know, I didn't know going into like at the end of 2018 season, the year before last, he'd started the last six games and he had run the football a, a, a good amount, and, and we'd won a lot of ball games. So he had really done well running the football as a quarterback. But we were just, we still needed to know if he could throw the football well. This this year, he definitely threw the football a lot, and uh, and he had like 38 touchdown passes, you know, as as throwing. And then he was also in the top 10 rushing for any any rushing running back. Obviously, he was a quarterback, but he was still in the top 10 in rushing as a, as a football player. So, like, just a dynamic, like, guy. And, obviously, he was the league MVP for a reason. And, like, some of his highlights, like, you know, there was a spin move that he did when we were playing in Cincinnati where, like, you know, he made three guys. One guy fell down. Two guys, like, tripped over their own feet, and, like, he ran, like, 65 yards and scored. I mean, just his, like, athletic ability is, is crazy. And is then he we, one we, of the best athletes ever? I mean – yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Like, and we play like, you know, we played in Seattle and uh, we played Bobby Wagner and he's a middle linebacker for the Seahawks. And like, he's a hall of flame, hall of fame type player. He will be in the hall of fame. And like, and we, I talked to him after the game and he's like, you know, you watch him on film and he looks fast and he looks, you know, and, and it looks legit. But when you actually play him and you're actually going on the same field as him, he's like, the dude's on another level. What's and his, he is. What's his 40 time? So he didn't run his 40 at the combine because all the, you know, the the talk was that, you know, they, they want to make him move, a running back or something. They wanted to move him to running back or, or receiver. So he didn't run the 40, but they said he'd be in the four twos, Whoa. you know? Yeah. So, I mean, he's, I mean, and obviously, you know, the, just the ability, but the cool thing was too, though, that, you know, he's a young kid. And, uh, you know, and I was the old man on the team. So, you know, and we were the two leaders of the offense, obviously I was the old guy and he was the young buck, but like the amount of respect that he showed to me and to the, like, to the game of football, like he definitely put football first, you know, like when he showed up to practice, he practiced hard when he showed up to play, he played hard. And like, he played for his, his teammates. Like there was that respect factor. There was, he was not a me guy. And there's a lot of me guys in the NFL. That's just part of it. There's a lot of me guys everywhere. Right. I mean, it's just, just the way it is, but like, him being respectful and, and not being a me guy and just like, and that, that contributed to his success too, just because he had gotten so much like he, by the end of the year, like you said, it was full, like blow up mode. You couldn't get his Jersey. People are paying like thousands of dollars for his Jersey because everything was sold out. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, he was, you know, taking the NFL by storm. And the cool thing was the kid stayed the same.